Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Media Truder, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Well, last time, Emperor John the Magnificent, or to be precise, John the Dane, picked up that title by creating the Dane Law. England is literally no more. Absolutely spectacular. In fact, I think it's actually impossible to reform it at this point. Because de jure, every single duchy just sort of uh, belongs to the Kingdom of Dane Law now. And the kingdoms say Dane law, so okay, maybe if you're like Anglo Saxon or something, if you owned enough of England, you could reform it. I don't know, but uh, as far as I can see, England has been defeated. But unfortunately, yeah, the Pope's decided he doesn't like that, so uh, we're gonna need to defend the Dane law. And the problem is, uh, the Dane law's not entirely um, an island, uh, some of the Dane law is uh, in Brittany, so. Uh, we might just have to sacrifice that. I'm not sure what they're going to be going for. Especially as the De Jure capital has just moved. So, yeah. It's actually supposed to be way up here. North Riding. So, York is now the capital of the Dane Law. It's no longer down here in Winchester. The capital of Wessex. So, okay. I don't know whether that means they're going to try and, you know, sail straight round to that. Or go straight for Brittany. Because they can get there by land. Or just go for the south coast, because, like, it's closest or something. But, uh, whatever happens, we're entering that, you know, very fun period where there's going to be multiple holy wars happening at once. Where we want Denmark and they want Dane law. So, yes, this is going to start getting confusing. Still, at the bare minimum, if we're very, very lucky indeed, we might just be able to, yeah... For some of these guys over here, so as a result of that, they won't be over here anymore. Okay, check on the state of everything right now. Our light footmen are still just forming up, so ideally uh, one more month we'll actually have uh, everybody all together, though in friendly territory we'll be fine regardless, so uh, we can raise those troops up. And uh, yeah, right now we have got up to uh, about 17 prowess is the weakest we've got in terms of knights. So that's pretty darn solid, but... It must be said, every king is riding out with me. We could lose kings here. King Loki is our top knight and also our best commander. Then we have got King Orvar of Lapland. He's right there as well. Then we have got dukes, more dukes, more flipping dukes. Then we have got ourselves, yep, there's the Queen of Ireland. She's going to be riding out with us. So, yeah, there could definitely be some... Uh, dead monarchs at the end of this because we got three kings on the front line but i was saying last time we need some more commanders so i've got a plan for that here we go vibrant court better guess we'll be coming to my court and ideally that means yeah some potentially very strong commanders will be showing up so okay this one's going to be very simple basically same as before we need to kick the ass of the Pope, but I think they've got slightly less this time, and we've got slightly more. Though I am slightly worried that, yes, our, our knights are what they were, because we have another chance to go and get Zealand back, and uh, if Loki dies, then we could be in trouble. Because Loki is... Uh, he's getting on a bit, damn it. I mean, he is... Uh, he's 65, and uh, yeah, health poor. He is a drunkard, so uh, that's not great. And I'm not in fantastic shape either. Alright, I'm not a drunkard, but I do enjoy the occasional drink. So, uh, yeah, basically, uh, the Emperor and his key commander and brother are both old uh, and dying. This is uh, potentially a problem. Without Loki, uh, the army's not going to work properly. Without John, the economy could fall apart in minutes. Though then again, we do actually need to, yes, get into this war because I need people to sacrifice because uh, my dread is low. And the higher my dread, the cheaper the troops. Right, get the rally point down south over here, close by to Winchester. Though, to be honest, there's, uh, hang on, I know there's, aha! There's a ridiculous amount of supply down over here. So, uh, my army can actually, well, okay, maybe not all of it, but like, it can come very close to standing here, which is quite frankly bloody impressive. I mean, you don't see that very often. A territory where my army can flipping stand without taking attrition eventually. Ah, but here's good news. Yes, that dread I said I needed. Uh, we've got flipping criminals uh, inside our own court. 
So, you people, yes, anyone I can definitely 100% arrest, especially if they're lowborn, you're going to be imprisoned. And hang on, who else have we got who we can uh, imprison nice and easy? Well, apparently you can only arrest one person at a time. I had no idea. Right, well, in that case, just wait for uh, her to be arrested. But, yeah, no need for us to be standing on ceremony here. Obviously, Loki, me and you. One last flipping time. And this time, no reserves, no anything. There we go. You've just been put in prison, my friend. So, uh, we're just going to be... Very sorry about this. Unless you're, like, super rich. No. Five. For some reason, somebody would pay 300 for you, but uh, they probably wouldn't, actually. So you're just being uh, put to death. That's some lovely dread. Not gonna say no to that, actually. Lovely. Now, keep an eye on this army and how much it costs, because uh, we're pretty good right now. One of my sisters has been taken captive. I'm sure she'll be fine in time. Uh, okay, we're up to... Uh, we're still making a profit. We're not making a loss and uh, 20,000. I mean, I tell you what, I'll take that. I can actually field uh, pretty much the entire army right now. And, uh, yep, there we go. That's the entire army in play and I'm not making a loss. That is, uh, that's pretty good. Now, the real question is, uh, where are the bad people? Because there is this war that started, actually, you know what? You, my friend... There's, like, one territory up here that's part of the Crusade up in Scotland. Now, uh, they will be useful because, logically, wherever it is they're trying to go, everyone else is going to be trying to go there as well. And I tell you what, I kind of but noticed that, yes, okay. I'm going to get rid of, like, you know, just a small handful of levies uh, purely for the sake of uh, getting under the supply limit. So, no, no, not you. Less than that. There we go. That's going to get us 200... Uh, unsupplied. So, uh, you guys get broken apart, then we'll just have a little bit of a spare right there and you're supposed to be... Hang on, what? Wait, whoa, whoa. Did I just get my maths wrong? Why are you still oversupplied? Oh, it's because you're bloody... Okay, naff off. Just, you guys can all just go. Get out of this terror... No! Stop standing next to me! We're all going to starve to death! Okay, I'm seeing some movement over here. They appear to be trying to land in Suffolk. So, uh, head in that direction, uh, catch them as they come off the boats, if at all possible. So, we're just going to get over here, hit these guys, and yes, for the time being, uh, they are currently fresh off the boat. They might be starting to move soon. Uh, not sure if we can actually catch them in time. Uh, just keep heading north up in this direction. Uh, sooner or later, we'll hit them, and uh, no, they're not fresh off the boat anymore, but this should be uh, a very easy starting point right here. So, yeah, we just want to take them out in bits and bobs. Now, uh... The mistake I've made, let's talk all about the things that John maybe didn't get wrong, but could have done a bit better, is, uh, yeah, I don't kill that many people after the battle's done. And there's a reason for that. Different troops are good at different things. So, uh, archers are good at just doing a giant bunch of damage, but once the battle's done, they can't pursue. That's not their job. Pikes, same basic deal. Obviously, trebuchets, that's not their job at all. My entire army has got very little in the way of pursuits. Now, light footmen can pursue in a way, but to be honest, if you want to be actually doing, you know, a pursuit, you're gonna be needing horses. So, uh, light horsemen here, or armoured horsemen who are devastatingly powerful, but yeah, they're not actually so good on the pursuit. So, uh, I might just create, just, you know, a small unit of horsemen right here. So, I just get, get out of the way of the... Just get out of the way, please. Yes, we need to create that. There we go. It's going to take some time for that to form up. But I'm in friendly territory, so uh, it will form up over time. So uh, I might just create, yeah, a tiny handful of horses. So we've at least got a little bit of chasing down capabilities. Right, sorry. Back to this battle, which we are... Oh my goodness, it turns out we're winning. But yes, during the actual uh, breaking down and fleeing part of this fight, we're not doing so... Uh, not doing so hot. By the way, what other commanders do we have uh, available? So, uh, okay. Eskild is better than he was. The problem is no one's really got... We need better skills. Hang on. You're doing... Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, bloody hell. Right. No wonder no one's getting any better. It's because the bloody English have insisted on getting on my council. I don't really know how they've done it, 
but somehow they have. And she's stuck here for the next cocky two and a half decades. So, I mean, hopefully she'll just die in the meantime, to be honest. Right, head over in this direction and you're about to come over to here. Just if we can, you know, head over here instead. Yeah, we're going to catch them right there. They now won't be able to get away. So that's another easy victory for me. There's so many branches these days. Just so bloody many. And, uh, okay, human body. Might get a lifestyle perk. Oh, this can be... Go for it, but I'm going to be careful. I might bottle out of this one depending on uh, how it goes. Uh, secrets of the body. I would get very stressed, but... No, this is unseemly. I'll just take the 50 and go. 50 is fine. Right, so, okay. Down over here, hit these guys, and then just start moving in this direction. So that's just 200 people we're catching right now. No sign of trouble. Up to 3%. This war, however, it might take a flipping while. And if we can just catch you in Essex. There we go. I've got to say, the Pope has been slow to show up on this occasion, which is very good news. So, okay, we're also capturing people like crazy. So, this is, uh, this is excellently good news. So, we're taking uh, flipping captains uh, out of commission. And uh, the Empress is also doing a very good job with recruitment. Marvellous. Oh, yeah, the prison is filling up fast. So, uh, 100%. Let's just uh, keep an eye on this. Right now, we're minus 3.9. Dread at 74. So, uh, anyone who's lowborn, sorry, you're being uh, put to death actually. And you're Catholic, so no one around my way cares. So, uh, there we go, up to 94 right there. As for the rest of you, however, sorry, you're actually lowborn as well. Uh, some of you are earls and whatnot, so uh, how much money? 166. Yeah, I'll take 166 for you. Uh, 300, not sure you're actually planning to pay it, but you know what? Ransom, ransom, and more ransom. I'm making a tiny Tiny loss right now, and I suspect this war might go on for a bit, and uh, we really need to uh, get the bank moving in the right direction. Because uh, if I die, if Emperor John dies specifically, uh, we're going to lose, uh, what is it, the uh, the troop fear thing. And that's going to be a problem. And, oh bloody hell, I've yet to pledge to the Holy War. Okay, I could find that. Oh, that's a lot of money! That's, no... I'm sorry, I can't do that. I'm kind of already doing my part right now. So, uh, maybe I get let off because I'm literally already fighting a, a holy war. So, uh, sorry about this. I'm really sorry and I just gained another 40 stress. The problem is I've got too many children, too many siblings, and apparently I like them. Seriously, this stress situation is... Uh, it's getting out of hand and there's literally nothing I can do about it. By the way, who just died? Oh, thank goodness, it was the woman we hated. Okay, good, 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 good. Loki, you're back in charge. All right, here comes some of the Empire. I assume they're just kind of swinging north up here. For some reason, they seem to be wanting to take, yeah, Suffolk and Norfolk. So uh, I'll move into position to intercept them. How am I cavalry doing in the minute? Yes, we are gaining cavalry. So uh, soon, our pursuing forces will be much more effective than they were previously. And that is... Uh, Okay, just a bit of inter-island problems, not my business, but for some reason... Oh, here they come. Here come the big lads. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Let's see if we can get on them and catch them, all right? We get over here, we want to catch them as they get off the boat, because they're all coming in right now, and they're all disorganized. So I need to catch them in the next, like, 30 days or something, so get after them. Come on, in we go. In we flipping go, and... Uh, claim of convenience. Okay, who's who's this precisely? She's got a claim on one flipping... She's got a claim on one county. This is not really anything to do with me, to be honest. We've kind of got our own thing going on right now. So uh, we just need to get after these people. Come on, we just need to catch them. Take them out before more reinforcements show up. So get over here. Okay, we're going to get them right here. Now, unfortunately, we do not have them recently disembarked. What we do have is... Uh, a massive troop advantage and a big open field, which I will flipping take. King Loki has just ripped off somebody's head. Don't do that. We could sell them for money. Right, so this is good. And on this occasion, we should do... Yes, let's check this. So uh, we've actually got uh, cavalry present and correct now. So uh, give me some details. Uh, the pursuit at this point... Yeah, we took out uh, 51 in levies. Uh, oh. 
Okay, it's not great, to be honest. Like, you know, we killed 4,000 of them. We might need more cavalry. I'm not really sure we've got enough right now. Still, that was a good, big-ass victory. They're now going to split up. the 700 over there. And nobody is going for Brittany. So, to be honest, this is pretty much as good as it gets. And also, uh, more people just seem to be uh, showing up. You're some nobody. Congrats, you're being sacrificed. You know what? Screw it. We can afford this. We've got the money. Let's get some cavalry going on. Size 4. Love it. So that's going to be, yes, a good, solid 400 cavalry present and correct. Now, supplies are ticking down, unfortunately. But let's just move over to... Yeah. Move over to the city over here somewhere. They just seem to be arriving here all the time. Then again... You're floating around with, like, uh, 5,000 troops. Let's just go and track you guys down, because I don't really know where you're going. Presumably, you're fleeing to, uh, yeah, Catholic Scotland. And my brother... No, my brother Spare! He was important for no well-explained reason. No, he died of old age. That's probably a concern, because he was my younger brother, and he just died of old age. So that's... That's all. Oh, there they are! The flipping Pope finally arrived. Good, 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 good. Now, uh... We should probably go and take care of him. The Pope is a problem and always has been. Now, recently disembarked, so we're never going to get there in time. But, that there is, yeah, it's a fair few troops. If he's able to join up with other Crusaders, uh, we could be in trouble. So, uh, what we should do is these guys appear to just be uh, naffing off right now. Then again, is the city actually uh, under siege? I think we should we should get after them. Yeah, it's time. It's time for us to get out onto the sea and find a way to take out the Pope. Right now, we've got the troops for it. Those guys I'm not worried about for the minute. We can come and take care of them later. Especially as I think the rest of them are actually... Oh, bloody hell, I've actually gone up to... Uh, I've gone up to level 2. Who just died? My brother? No! Loki! Oh, that's a problem. He was kind of keeping the army going, actually. Uh, okay, I'm up to I'm up to level two. Oh, I'm not surprised that's stressful for me. That's that's legitimate stress right there. So, uh, comfort eater. I lose prestige, but also lose a giant pile of stress. Stewardship down, but stress loss goes up. That's not terrible, to be honest. Or I can start. Ooh, okay. Frederick's going to be considered a sycophant, so uh, it's only minus 40. That doesn't really matter. Confider. So, uh, diplomacy plus one. It's not terrible, to be honest. Yes, you know what? Frederick, whoever Frederick is, he will support me. And, uh, okay, now I'm a confider. I'm not so overwhelmed with stress. I think everybody is now trying to link up with the Pope, obviously. So we want to get down over here. We don't want to be too close to the Pope. Because we want my, yes, disorganised malice to uh, wear off before we actually uh, do anything. So, uh, okay. How long? 24 days. Begin moving in this direction. Okay, and, oh, he needs a commander. We literally don't have one right now. Okay. Who's the right person for the job here? I mean... Your command skill, in terms of advantage, is hardly spectacular. But you do come with uh, aggressive attacker. So more fatal casualties, which I'm going to give you a go. Okay, that's kind of what we need. So even though you are nowhere near the commander Loki was, uh, good luck. All right, we need you to kill these guys and do some severe damage to them. And uh, tragically, that means I'm pretty sure we now have... Uh, yeah, we've got no marshal. So... Uh, Okay, I guess it's going to be the flipping Duke of Wales for whatever reason. I mean, he's not great, and yes, we're now losing money. Uh, we're losing money fast because uh, Loki was doing a, a lot of good work in that regard. So everything's under control. Don't worry, it's fine. Aside from the fact everybody who's important is dying. Right, I'm not going to arrive there for 29 days if I move in. Uh, only 22 days until recently disembarked wears off. So. Uh, and they're trying to flee. But to be honest, I'm kind of okay with that. Because, yeah, here we go. Just making sure. They're not ready to get out of the way 
just yet. If you are locked to leaving, you can't reinforce. No sign of reinforcements around here. Five days to go, uh, not arriving until, uh, yeah, over five days. So uh, that's going to wear off. We've actually got more people arriving. Come on, get on a him. And there we go. This is going to be a bit of an even fight. Actually, it's, oh no. Oh, the lack of Loki, I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. The lack of Loki, actually. But if they're going to try and reinforce, like, directly into me, I mean, bad call for them, to be honest. Okay, we got a victory right there. And then we got more people over here. I don't know we're going to get on you. Uh, does anyone know where? Yeah, they're over here. Are they going to try and flee overseas? I guess they have to. Okay, you know what? Get over here. And join, actually, you know what, don't, don't do that. Stay where you are, let that fight end, and then get ready to go and assist. Because uh, they're still going to be disorganized, and where's the, where's the enemy? Where's the, catch them? Okay, we got them. We got them now, and we got 12,000 of them, at least. So we're going to do some good work. Hang on, that last fight. We killed four odd thousand, which is good, because they're now actually in a hostile territory. And the pursuit did... Okay, the pursuit is still looking a bit flimsy. Okay, my buy horses plan. Not working out. Not that well anyway. Uh, there's no... Just show me the... Show me the battle, please. Thank you. Okay, that's doing very well. Uh, King Orvar did some maiming. Not actually head tearing because we're just not that sort of a... Not that sort of a ruler. Can we get down here in time to catch the rest of the Pope's forces? And... Uh, Oh my goodness, oh, something, something, some claim, and... Okay, don't know who that is or what they want. Kinda don't care. It's fine if we can get down here before you get... There we go. Right, that's gonna be... Why are we losing that one? I don't know why we're losing this one so badly. I mean, uh, we're getting some good experience, surely. And where's the rest of it? Okay, you guys are now over there. Head in this direction. Hit these guys. They're going to be badly disorganized. You're up to uh, 27. Maybe check, like, my court. See if anyone better is showing up. Because uh, we should be getting really good guests. But unfortunately, uh, they're not looking spectacular. Not right now. Well, this guy's apparently, yes, an experienced fighter. So... How much to uh, recruit you, uh, my friend? 65. Done. He can actually be a brand new knight. That's fine. Yeah, just keep pushing in this direction. We should be able to easily take out the... Uh, but then again... Okay, we don't actually want to engage till that fight's over. The moment the fight is over, then we move in. Go! Now we attack. I don't want to join a fight which is already, like, you know, effectively over. These troops are badly disorganized. So now we get on them nice and fast and we take them out or at least... Oh, they flipping got away. Get back here, you bastards. Okay, this is... The game saying this is going to be even. This never would have been even. We're flipping Loki in command. Right, they're all trying to come together. Good. We managed to catch the 12,000 there before these 7,000 showed up. So that's positive at least. And a scheme at court to kill... Some random captain. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's fine. I mean, we're doing okay here. Are they going to try and reinforce? Hopefully not. The important thing is we don't let them group up. They must be stopped from grouping up. So just head up north. Hit those 7,000 if you can before they get out to sea. And I think, unfortunately... Oh, can we get them all? Can we get them? Come on. Jump on them, and I think we might be able to get, like, some of them. Okay, we got, like, uh, 2,000 or something. So, yeah, there's some more wounding. There's some more ass kicking. Good, 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 good. Now, is there anything going on in England? Oh, there's a fair bit going on in England. Okay, but it's small forces, uh, really. Does anyone know where the Pope went? I don't know where the Pope went, but we're also capturing... Uh, a lot of people. Because I assume the chance to capture is like a chance per army. So if you take it on 17 armies, uh, you capture a lot more people. Okay, the economy is holding still uh, for now. So just start, yeah, executing anybody who's uh, low-born. Anybody who can't actually pay their way out of prison. Aside from, yes, once we hit 100 dread, at that point, 
just start uh, not doing that because, hang on, yes, basically anybody who can pay their way out can go. Especially mares. Mares can 100% go. Okay, the problem we've got is supplies are now extremely low. So what I'm actually going to do, because that's actually a bit of a problem, is... I think we should break them down and then reform them. It's going to take a bit of time to do, but it would take time to do anyway. So just for safety, we're going to reform them a little bit inland over here. Then again, you're, you're probably fine for now. You know what? Get out. Just one more fight over here. We're going to clear this lot, and then we're going to have to break down and reform. So uh, the Pope might be back, but for the time being, Brittany is safe. But they're... They are taking stuff, which is a bit of a problem, actually. And even for Vikings, it takes time to get the entire army onto the bloody sea. So get you guys down over here. And uh, yeah, there's like uh, 12 odd thousand in this direction. But it's in a bunch of little armies, meaning they have a giant flipping annoying pile of troops. So get over here. We have got some pregnant people. Hang on, that is... Uh, yep, that's the capital. Head to Colchester. Right there. See if they're willing to come along. A handful of reinforcements from the Catholic forces. But it's nothing too dramatic really. 25 and dropping. How long until we lose this? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, nothing too dramatic there. In which case, just start heading north. Try and hit all of them because... These forces are neutral. Why are they neutral? And if you're neutral, why are you here? Well, it's the kingdom of... Wait, what? It's the kingdom of... Okay, they're my forces. Or rather, they're various forces related to me, but they seem to be... Well, this is all very peculiar. Right, some more people seem to have uh, shown up. Just head in this direction. I think we got this. This is fine. Basically, just start cutting them down. Okay, I'm not too worried uh, by these bastards uh, for the most part. Just get over here. Yeah, there seems to be a big fight going on and... Okay, I think like 17,000 troops I wasn't really expecting just showed up. So, uh, hang the flip on. Have you guys all joined? Okay, though, seriously, why are you... Why are you here? Because that's not enough troops for you to have been here for for this. So in which case... Hang on, Estonia, what the flip are you guys doing? Oh, they're engaged in the Great Holy War for Denmark. Right, so that's technically, of course, a different holy war. And uh, that's actually okay. So uh, that's the war where I'm outnumbered, uh, but I'm doing what I can. Meanwhile... Uh, Oh, you've joined that holy war, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to say no. That means we've got two massive kill armies just running around murdering all of these bastards. So uh, you're now going to be chopped down. There's a bit more head ripping. If anyone would like to, like, you know, become a berserker, I wouldn't object. That'd be rather useful. Oh, and thank goodness the really bad chancellor's actually died. So that there, that is marvellous. Now... Uh, Okay, hang on. I really need to keep an eye on Norway, because Norway's actually got a new king these days, who sooner or later is going to be expecting to, you know, have a job of some description. So, hang on, is that... Are you the new king of Norway who's... No! Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to figure out what just happened to the Empire, because it might have been big. So, one of Loki's children, Philip Lokison, is now not the king, but like the... Oh... Yes, he is. Okay, he made himself king. Wait, did I make him king? I can't remember whether I did that. I might have done that, but he's a good lad. All right, he is intelligent. He's got good all-round stats. Wouldn't mind you on the council at some point, my friend. Meanwhile, uh, Norway itself has gone over to uh, Balder Lokison, uh, who is, yes, more about sneakiness. Now, uh, for the time being, uh, he's not got much in the way of uh, power. But in time, he could be a good spy master, potentially. Right, well, in that case, what we're gonna do is... Uh, yeah, this Countess, who's just some random nobody, she would be a decent enough Chancellor. She can have the job for now. And do I actually need domestic affairs? No, stay on uh, foreign affairs uh, for the minute. So, uh, we've chased these bastards off for now. Now we need to, uh, yeah, reverse siege our lands. No sign of the Pope's troops Never mind, I say no sign of the Pope's troops. They're right there, John. 
They're literally right there. These forces are now scattering. My supplies are starting to fall. We need to take these guys out. And at some point, we need to, you know, siege this nonsense. But these guys have now been badly scattered. And... Okay. Apparently, I'm uh, getting a bit drunk. And, oh, bloody hell. If I don't accept drunkard, then as a result of that, I'm going to go back up to uh, level 2 stress. Right, so I'm just drunk now. Okay, well, to be honest, I've had a stressful few years, alright? My beloved brother Loki is dead. That's, that is bloody stressful. Is there any chance we can go on a hunt? And, oh, we can. I mean, whether we want to, it's... Okay, drop at least a little, little bit of stress. And please, don't come across anything stressful on the hunt, alright? The point is to lose stress, not to gain it. Alright, my troops are now coming in. There is actually a... Ooh... There's actually a, uh, a fort here. I am crossing a river. So, in which case, we're going to be needing... Well, obviously, flipping Eskild is busy at the moment. Can we just win this anyway? I mean, the game is saying yes. So, okay, I will accept this. Also, yes, better and better guests are arriving. You're not the best commander, but you would be a decent knight. Okay, get over there. Kick their asses. That's all absolutely fine. Some of them are trying to flee right now. So we've got a massive, massive... Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. Hunt returning from the wild. That's great. Everyone's enjoying that. We are winning here. Nice and easy. They're trying to come over here for some reason, I think. We've almost won this. Yep, there is some more murder. Some more maiming. We are just flipping and destroying them. They're now... Are you actually coming to me? right now. I don't know, possibly. Right, get over here. Help these guys out as best you can, because I think they're actually about to... There we go. That's you taken care of. Okay, now seriously, Colchester, assuming Brittany. Brittany's fine. So we're just gonna sort out Colchester. Then we need to break apart the army, though to be honest, I kind of need to break apart the army now. That's gonna take... Okay, that's gonna take, like, less than two months. That's fine. They're actually... They're attacking me, which is flipping... Ballsy. Okay, we got more people with claims uh, showing up here. We are at plus 8% even having lost two territories. So once we take them back, that would be good. Because I need uh, the ticking war score. The problem is, oh, we're in starving. Which is not good. Uh, yes, get me Iron Constitution. Uh, just stay alive. The economy pretty much depends on it for the time being. So uh, get over here. As soon as this place falls, uh, just assault it. Go, one, done. And... Yet another cocking daughter. It's just... How many is that now? Nine! Nine daughters! Okay, break down these troops. The levies are going to take time to actually come back. That's fine. Some of these guys are now fleeing. I'm just going to raise the troops up north so they're nice and safe and out of the way. The Pope's sending a handful of reinforcements, but I'm kind of hoping uh, the Pope's not actually in uh, the best shape right now. Well, they've still definitely got, you know, uh, some troops. It's just, yeah, big pile of mercenaries. They just hire literally everybody in the bloody world. How's the other holy war going, by the way? Well, so far, they're winning it. Mainly because I'm just running interference for that war kind of by accident. Right, get the troops back up again. And on this occasion, uh, who do we want? Yeah, back over to um, Earl Ale over there. So uh, he can take care of that. And uh, maybe we don't run the entire army because uh, I feel like, you know, uh, they're starting to be a bit battered. And until they actually sell all the way back to friendly territory, uh, they're not going to be able to recover in any meaningful way. So uh, maybe uh, we just keep holding, uh, you know what, 20,000 will be fine. All right, we'll hold there, not an issue. And what's the state of these guys? Okay, we are regaining my men at arms. And we should probably have uh, some new and improved... Uh, no, actually. My new champions are doing nothing. Because they're not actually good enough to get involved. Marvellous. Also, a bit of Danelord does now belong to Estonia. Just due to, uh, you know, uh, the weirdness of succession. But I'm sure that's all fine. And meanwhile, yes, Wessex now controls. Okay, so I've probably created a bit of border gore here. How's my dread, by the way? 92? Uh, right, we've got to have someone we can murder in here. Right, you'll do. And other people who are, you know, knights or whatever, ideally counts, you can just uh, 
go down as well. Marvellous. So, straight back up to a hundred. Just hang on, John the Dane. Just hang the flip on. All right, this war is... It's going pretty well so far. And aha, I see these bastards. Get on them. Catch them as they get off the boat. They will be defenseless. So, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get on them. Get them over here. And if we're very lucky, we can catch them momentarily. Get over. Yep, they're still going to be disorganized. And I think we can catch them before they move. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Got them. So, that's going to be a complete walkover. That's going to be no problem at all. Absolutely destroy them. Get over here. Hit these guys. Hit these guys. Where's the Pope? 5,000 over there, but he's coming back onto the sea. Yeah, for some reason, they're obsessed with taking Norfolk and Suffolk. It's not actually the day you're a capital. They just sort of feel like it. And uh, a Chancellor. Okay, would you like to pay for your Chancellor? Because uh, I am open to being bribed to return some of these people. Oh, they're all bloody useless. Right, okay. In that case, you know, we just need to... We just need to get some of these people out of the way, though, to be honest. Like, I may as well have a little Luxy at them. It's possible some of them I might wish to recruit. Not many, to be honest. Get over here. Mob these guys out. And bow making. Oh my. It would appear to me that we've just got even stronger. My bows are now more powerful than they ever were before. Good. Good, good, good. How much longer until we can have... Okay, we can move into late medieval in two tacks. So, uh, what's the priority right now? Uh, we are fascinated. No, we're not fascinated. Uh, we're being exposed uh, to banking. So, development growth goes up a little bit. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Tech-wise, we are, we are behind. So, uh, don't need to fabricate claims. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't need to do. Because Vikings are very good about that. So, uh, meanwhile, uh, piety up. Short range duration down. Uh, Tidal creation down. Uh, Windmills. Domain taxes. Yeah, do it. Right, I'm now fascinated with windmills. Love it. Okay, so this fight is going very well. Reinforcements are piling in, but they're just being absolutely annihilated. Uh, where is the... Uh, the Pope's still getting over there. No problem at all. Uh, we're chasing these guys off. Just check the actual uh, pursuit figures uh, right here. So yeah, give me details. Pursuit is now... Uh, okay, that's a bit better. All right, now we're starting to see some people being murdered during the pursuit, especially in terms of, uh, you know, the cavalry are... Oh, yeah, that's nice, right there. The light horsemen are starting uh, to pay for themselves a bit. Now, get down south. we got more people trying to come ashore. Not many, but just, you know, a handful. We'll just intercept them momentarily. That's just literally 200 men. And then we'll get you to... And oh, bloody hell, they're... They're moving around fast. Get over here. Just get over here. Hit these guys if you can. And boom. There's another 2,000. But I need to take some time to unseige this. Because, uh, oh, bloody hell. There's more of them over there. Right, that's the Pope. And it would be lovely if we could just have... Uh, actually, would it be lovely if we had a son at the end? I don't know if it would be anymore. Right, okay. I think we need to... Uh, counter siege this place down how long until you fall uh check the state of the siege there three months i could stop them but if i do that then suffolk i mean i'm gonna be not gaining hang on i'm actually gaining a war score no i do not hold the objectives right now but i don't see any sign of any trouble okay get over here i think we can stop them then again, if we can't, then that was a waste of time. Do it. I think we can. There's only 2,000 there. So as soon as we get close, they'll probably just abandon the siege. But the problem is just because it says three months, that doesn't mean it's actually going to be three months. The problem is it's going to be longer than that. And I think I've just miscalculated badly, unfortunately. I think they're going to they're gonna wrap up that siege. Okay, but no, my allies are doing this. Good. Okay, in that case, this is perfect. My allies can do this and more sisters are dying. How many sisters do I have? Because it's... Oh, bloody hell, I've got ten siblings. And they're all dying and I'm sad about all of them. And my health is still poor. I'm just desperately trying to, you know, uh, counteract that as best I can. Yep, we're going to be too late. Unless they actually start running like now. Well, you've taken that already, which is irritating. 
get down over here. We might be able to pull them into reinforcement. That's the only chance if they give up the siege to try and come and reinforce. So, mind and body. Okay, hang on. Learning about medicine here. So, uh, journaling advice. So, uh, journal, that's actually a really good trait. So, stress loss goes up. Learning plus one. Lose some stress immediately. Or, go for a run. But, 50-50, I might not gain... Yeah, you know what? I'll take that guaranteed. Or I could just accept 30 and uh, he gains journaler. Okay, I'm taking journaler. All right, we're just going to start keeping diaries together. It's going to be lovely. But yeah, get over here and darn it, they finished the siege, then came and reinforced. Well, that's just, that's literally the opposite of good. And I'm also disorganized, but I'm going to win anyway. Just at, yeah, a greater cost of troops than we would have had to deal with otherwise. Still, my allies are showing up to take care of this. Then we're going to take care of this. And they abandoned the siege. Why did they abandon the siege? Okay, well, we took the son of a duke. All right, somebody's got to want to pay for some of these people. 266, yes, because uh, I can't help but notice that, yeah, I seem to be always positive in money. But I seem to be losing money regardless. So this is, uh, this is deeply concerning. Still, at least we've captured, uh, yes, we've captured some dukes and whatnot. This is good, 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 good. Keep an eye on the amount of money coming in. That's fine. Kill some random lowborn to keep the dread nice and high. That's how we keep the troops nice and scared. We get on with this over here. This is all absolutely fine. Yeah, just 30 days till this is done. You're getting on with this. You guys have been scattered. Just a tiny handful of troops up here, but they don't seem to want to commit. Not just yet. So, 15%, uh, even with three territories captured. So, okay, there's... Oh, I swear you guys actually paid the right amount of money. Well done, Crusader Kings 3. Okay, we've taken this over here. Gonna go help these guys out, just in case, uh, yeah, that goes wrong soon. Then we need to head back over to uh, England, uh, sort this out. So back up to 23. My commanders are now being uh, improved. Hang on, who just gained uh, improved? And that's Forda. Forda is not so good. Forda is very boring. Uh, right, sort this out. Kill these guys. Uh, those guys are not actually at war with me uh, right now. You just go and sort this nonsense out. And... Uh, this is... This is not good news. So, I finally got a son. And that's going to completely cocking ruin the succession. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Hang the flip on. How do I fix this? No, I'm sorry. You would have been good three decades ago. Now, you are literally too late, my boy. Okay, hang on. We need to... We need to sort this out. What has that just done to the cocking succession? So, uh, the Empire of Scandinavia goes to Too Late Johnson. Uh, Ellen still gets the Kingdom of Sweden. The Kingdom of the Danelaw is going to, meanwhile, go to uh, Nils. Why? Oh, because, yes, that has got a, that's got a vote attached to it. Of course it does. Uh, okay, so... Uh, we need to change laws here. So, yes, if we add equality into this, then that changes the rules that Ellen moves. Okay, good. Right, we fixed it. It's fine. And no one's going to vote for Too Late Johnson, which is an amazing name. That's <laughs> Too Late Johnson. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, no one's going to vote for him in the elections because he's too much of a baby. But, okay, Nine daughters, then one cocking son. It's like something out of a fairy tale. Okay, at least we were able to uh, sort that out without too much trouble. Look, I am sorry. I truly am sorry, my boy, but it's too late for you. Let's just get round over here. We need to actually hit these guys. We're going to get some of them at least. So, uh, yeah, that's a tiny handful of troops there. We're just going to cut them down. Lovely, some excellent maiming going on in this part of the world. Uh, you used to actually wanted to go in this direction. Some of you are, so we're just going to capture you. Then we're going to capture you. Where are the reinforcements? There's more coming over there. We'll sail back over there in a moment. And... Okay. Mystical practices. Right, I'm getting a bit odd in my old age. Sure, we're going to do some form of mysticism. And, oh, I've lost another brother. That, that was Orvar. He was the king of Lapland. So that's... 
Okay, I'm just going to accept I'm stressed out of my brain right now. It's it's just not good. So, okay, Ingborg Oversdotter is now the queen of Lapland. So I assume you had... You did once have brothers, but they all died. So you're now the queen of Lapland. Good, 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 good. Welcome aboard. You might be a good steward. Okay, get over here. Murder these people. Just get them out of the way as fast as you flipping like. And, okay, mystical knowledge. So, uh, strange powders on burning fire, overpowering heat, smoke, and smells. So, uh, okay, I'm having a bit of a vision. I could gain a bit of lifestyle, but... I'm a little bit concerned that I can't help but notice here that there is, um, a skull. There is a skull right there. Like, it doesn't matter what happens next. And Okay, that's just because I've got the army selected. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no, screw it. All right, let's flipping get high as a flipping kite. We might learn something. Don't know what, but we might and... Right, also, apparently my wife is now doing a lot of stuff for me. Unsurprising, I'm getting a bit, um, weird and into drugs in my old age. So, okay, what do we actually need to, to do here? And gain some prestige or gain some dread? To be honest, I've got no problem just gaining dread. Apparently, she's also a criminal. Do we do we know what her crime was? Oh, she's a fornicator. Oh, well, that's that's a bit of a not good thing in your own wife, but whatever. Uh, okay, yes, I'll take some prestige because I really don't need the dread, thanks. Okay, this battle is going to be over soon. That is actually against the flipping, yep, leader of the papacy. And uh, I'm getting clearer and clearer visions and ooh. Wise man! Okay. So, wise man learning plus one. Not actually a virtue. In some religions it is, in mine it is not. Or, lose a giant pile of stress and gain introspective rest. I mean, that's... That's interesting. Wise man doesn't really help me. In my religion, it's not great. So, uh, yeah, you know what? I figured out there's nothing holy or anything... I just enjoy Casey getting a bit high, just takes the edge off at the end of a long day of Holy War. Now, seriously, get on with this, and then, yeah, get down over here. We need to get after these guys as fast as you flip in like, please. What's going on up in England, by the way? Oh, they're doing sieging up there as well. Right, and my allies are not in a position to assist at all. Still, these guys are going to pile in to reinforce, so we can clear out these bastards. Uh, that is very positive. Uh, you're going to die. That's good. We've captured some more mares. Congratulations. Welcome to the Make Me Money Club. Uh, oh yeah, we have got a lot of duchesses, uh, mares, uh, all sorts here. Now, let's just let the money roll in for a second here, because I'm guessing you're all going to be... Uh, Oh, you're all gonna be leaving. There we go. Here comes some money. Right, so uh, you guys are all clear at this point. There's more over in this direction. So we just need to get back out to... Yeah, we need to get back out to sea. We need to get back over towards uh, Hampshire as fast as possible. So we're gonna lose another territory over there. But we should be able to win a devastating victory against all of them. So yeah, we got about uh, 600 gold uh, out of a giant pile of ransoms there. 39%. Pretty much entirely from battles. Because we just can't hold the territory. There's too much of it. It spreads too thin. Okay, so they've taken Essex back again. But we are now ready to move in and intercept. And if no one else comes and attacks Brittany, we might be able to deal with all of this. So now they're going for, uh, for Kent with about 10,000 troops. Right, move towards Surrey. We are going to need to reset at some point. The Pope is coming in to reinforce. Oh, a lot of stuff's coming in to reinforce. Okay, we need to knock these guys out now before they're a problem. Uh, five days until that's over. Get them. Just uh, trap them right here. All right, I want this taken care of. Some of them are arriving over there. They want to show up as reinforcements. That's fine. If you guys would like to... This guy has managed to somehow insist that he ought to be Chancellor again. I'm still not sure how he's doing this, but... Oh! I know precisely! Let's talk all about the things that John got wrong! He's got it in his contract, doesn't he? Right, well, no, 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 actually. That's, that's not going to be a thing. Look, I'm willing to let you off some troops. 
All right. If you just stop this, and actually, you know what? No, no, no. You get to keep this. Instead, you get to keep your title. All right. That's what you flipping get. Okay. Sorry, that, that took me a while to figure out. And uh, yes, actually, the Duchess of Mercia, who is apparently powerful, she gets the job instead and he can't be fired for... Oh, even if I change the contract, he can't be fired regardless. Boo! Boo, I say. Right, so I was just dealing with uh, the hangover from some really, really bad older contracts. I see. I see. So we're taking out 2,000 right here, but they're sending in a giant pile of reinforcements. But lads, it's too late. Lads, it's way too late, all right? I have got your flipping number right here. And boom. That should be... Oh, that was a big one. That was a big one. 6,000 people dead. Love it. The slaughter at Tombridge. Okay, we got this. We got this here. So you guys are now going to scatter. There is nobody in here. We can now take some of this back. And if we're lucky, we can take, like, all of it back. So, uh, actually, you're already a siege expert. So, okay, we do not need to uh, do any changes here. So, uh, get over here. Take the Dane Law back, and then we've got some ticking war score in our favour. And it's going to jump significantly once this is done. And seriously, seriously, guys, you are actually going to try and push into flipping Norfolk right now. All right, you know what? I'm not going to stop you. That's absolutely fine. It's only 7,000 of you. You're fleeing overseas. I mean, if no one attacks Brittany, this is actually pretty much as good as it gets. And additional taxes. That's marvellous too. Okay, I need you to make this happen soon. You know what? Make it happen right now. Now get over here. Chase these guys off. I know we just lost a handful of troops, but I kind of don't care. And uh, a new claimant. And excuse me, what are you flipping doing right here? You've always oh, incompetence means the flipping Holy Roman Emperor now has a right to attack a county. Well, this is why you're not allowed on the council, you stupid dick. Right, just get after these guys. We should be able to uh, catch them at the next little area. There's nothing they can do now. Yep, nice easy victory right here. Pope sending in a handful of reinforcements too. If you guys could please just focus on Suffolk, I would actually really appreciate that. You're sending another 63 men to assist there. Well done. I'm sure that really helped you. Good. We just captured some more people. Right, take out Ipswich. All right, once that's done, with nobody significant around here, admittedly the Pope is, the Pope's just sending in more cocking reinforcements. Okay, we need to sort this out now. All right, it's going to take them some time to get set up. Break the walls, then we just move in. So 30 days till that's sorted out. You guys are still hanging out here, and then they're not sure whether they want to... Oh dear. Um... Emperor John is dead. And in all fairness, he made it... He made it to 70. Ladies and gentlemen, let us take a moment to remember the magnificent roller coaster of a life that was Emperor John's. Because Emperor John, he began his reign in disgrace. You may recall, he was stripped of his finery, reduced to rags, a joke, a laughing stock. The man who could not hold Scotland. But, 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 by the end of his life, he more than made up for it, okay? He fought a second war in Scotland. He held Catholicism back. He took England and destroyed it. It is now officially the Dane law. England is gone forever. And he was doing a really good job holding it against the Catholic powers of Europe, all right? He was doing a magnificent job. And on top of that, he broke the curse, all right? Don't forget... That yes, there was previously the um, uh, a small issue of the curse where Adelvard and Orvar did not lead long or glorious reigns. But he broke that curse, alright? 45 years for Ilva, 46 for Johan, 35 for John. So not as good. Maybe he should have, you know, left off the drugs a bit at the end. But I tell you what, this was, uh, this was still very, very good stuff indeed. A magnificent man, though... We should also take a moment while remembering John to remember his brother. Because, as some people have pointed out in the comments, there is an interesting little um, parallel in history where we had Orvar and Tord, and then thereafter we had John 
and Loki, where the former ended up being the ruler, but was more of an administrator, though John is definitely much better than Orvard the Disgraced, but yes indeed, both Tord and Loki were the far better fighters. So, uh, rest in peace, John the Dane, John the Magnificent, John of the Mighty Mighty Hat. And yes indeed, we're going to have to figure out um, uh, what we do now, because uh, without John's management, the economy has immediately kind of... Uh, collapsed actually so uh, okay how are we gonna sort this nonsense out well for a starting point at least that has actually cleared out the council so uh, that's got rid of the useless bastard which is very very good indeed uh, we have got helena who is a decent person over here uh okay how is my husband my husband is ah my husband's actually pretty darn solid and uh, he's also yes hail so uh, he should be surviving a good amount of time, uh, though he does, you know, drink a little bit too much. So, uh, okay, who are my powerful vassals? Actually, only four. So if I arrange this correctly, this is going to be marvellous. So, uh, okay, Nils the Foolish of the Danelaw. Aha, of course, because yes, I didn't get the Danelaw anymore. All right, I inherited the Swedish stuff, but the Danelaw actually went by vote to Nils. So... Uh, I mean, fair enough. That is perfectly reasonable. Nils is actually, yeah, he's a decent chap, all things considered. And he can most definitely be our marshal. In fact, you know what? He really suits that. That's pretty darn good. So then what we've got is uh, the Queen of Finland, who would be, uh, yeah, she would actually be a decent steward. So that's all absolutely fine. So yeah, we got a new queen over in Finland uh, as well. You're doing a good job. You just need to gather up some taxes. You need to, yes, get the actual cost of our troops down. That leaves two more people here. So, uh, the King of Estonia, who admittedly kind of hates me. And that's partly because of, uh, yeah, he wants to be on the council. He's also ambitious. That's a bit of an issue, actually. He's a really good guy, but he is ambitious. And I am ambitious. So, okay. What about you? Short reign, desires the county of Nordmark. We could probably sort that out for you. What's Nordmark? Aha! It's a tiny bit of land that I control directly. And to be honest, you're right. I, I shouldn't, really. So, I mean, okay. Yep, fair. 100%. You, my friend, can have it. No problem. You can have... Uh, Actually, should I should give you... Yeah, you know, I'm just going to give it to you. That's fine. Oh, that's a huge pile of stress because I'm ambitious. Oh, good. Good, good, good. That's that's great because uh, I am... Oh, I don't really have the... I don't have enough land to be giving land away, to be perfectly honest. That's, that's less good, actually, yes. And, okay, hang on. Hang on. Okay, let's just make sure we understand what's going on here. So, uh, there's the Dane Law... Alright, so that's now got its own independent king. Estonia, however, controls also Lancaster. Ireland controls various bits and pieces. Finland makes sense. Alright, good job Finland. You make sense. And Norway mostly makes sense. And Denmark... Denmark doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Because the Dane law has now eaten all of this. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Everything's fine. Okay. We can give, yeah, Vastagotland Chancellor. That's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world, though. Enemy claim and all sorts of nonsense. That's that's not so good. Uh, and I think we just need to go for a spy master who uh, we can trust. So, uh, my own mother. Good. Good, good, good. Now that, that will work. So, uh, presumably that was John's wife. Sorry, John didn't pay too much attention to that. He was, he was pretty bloody high by the end of his life. So... Uh, Yes, my mother can be my spy master. She will keep me safe. That's fine. And yeah, this guy over here is hardly spectacular. So let's just have him on assist ruler for now. Maybe we'll swap him out. And just to clarify, we also have... Uh... Okay, so the constant daughter thing is continuing. But that's... I mean, quick and hail. That's pretty bloody nice, actually. Okay, that's... That's a good combo. That's a really good combo. Right. Now, the problem we've got here is uh, we're losing money. We're losing a lot of money. My domain is now uh, mostly non-existent. 
and also the army is very expensive and it's not actually scared of me at all. So, okay, this is, this is all great. Still, we have inherited this war doing pretty darn well and yeah, just to confirm, I am compassionate, I am ambitious, I am just, okay, this is good, these are good traits, and uh, you're an astute intellectual. So, uh, the first ruler we've had, uh, whose specialization is actually in learning. She's also a blade master, so uh, she can very much handle herself. So, uh, that is a good uh, selection of stats, just not good at plotting, uh, not necessarily so good at uh, military, rather like her father. Yeah, she's a thinker, not a fighter. And we also need two, yes, reset commanders. Now, uh, King Nils the Foolish of the Danelaw... You, my friend, strike me as, you know, a very good person to be doing this commanding. Alright, you are a siege specialist, you're good at fording the rivers that are around here, and uh, aggressive attacker. Now, the problem is, we do have issues with, uh, yes, all of this nonsense. Okay, uh, you guys are down here, but you're not sure how long it's going to take. Yeah, that's going to take you bloody ages. Just finish this off, it's fine, and uh, also, yes, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, uh, where's your specialization? Theologian, oh no, that doesn't help at all. So she's a prophet, meaning she can now reform or create branch offs of the faith on the cheap, which is not useful. Not useful at all. So, okay. What are we going to do here? I mean, we've just woken up in war then again. You are, you're fairly young, aren't you, all things considered, uh, Ellen? 32, in good shape and a blade master. I mean, getting you over to, uh, yeah, having access to uh, scientific would not be the worst thing in the world at all. I'm just a little concerned that we might be better off getting you uh, at least a little bit of strategist, but... Okay, let's give you a scholarship focus for now. All right, learning, plus three. Development growth up, this is fine. We're going to put all our faith in thinking. All right, you, get on with that. This cannot take you that long. That's got to be done in no time at all. Walls haven't actually opened up yet, so uh, come on. This is fine. Surely she can't throw away this war. Aside from the fact that we are just losing money like crazy. I need this war to be over. I really need this war to be over. And to be honest, under the circumstances... Uh, I think we might actually need to break down um, a handful of troops. Like, okay, what's costing me the most right now? Oh, it's the flipping, uh, it's the Huskars. They're very expensive. Okay, we're going to have to slim down the army a little bit. Okay, uh, we're going to slim them down to four. We're going to slim down the horses uh, to two. All right, we just need to slightly, slightly ease up. On the old army right now. The champions, yeah, now there's only eight of them. And we've lost Loki. So the worst champion we've got on the field is... Uh, okay, we've still got kings. We've still got the flipping king of Estonia and the king of the Danelaw uh, out on the front line. But they are, you know, capable of uh, defending themselves. 60% uh, and uh, rising. I want to take out this force before it does anything stupid. Then we get down over here. It's going to take them seven months to knock them down. So now we have got war score hanging up in our face. Oh, bloody hell. Now we've got... Right, this is... Well, this is just marvellous right here. Just get after these people. And I'm the new head of the Gren Dynasty, which I really feel like I should have been the whole time. But what can you do? Right, the forces need to be broken down and then reformed. Because, yes, we're pretty much out of supplies at this point. And my glory has immediately become widely known. Because, yes, I am... Uh, rapidly going up in the world. I was previously established, one battle, I'm straight up to uh, distinguished and uh, known for dedication to my faith. Because, uh, yeah, basically Great Holy Wars are just bloody fame and devotion printing machines. And, oh, bloody hell, we, we lost a thousand to their two thousand. That's, that's a concern, lads. Okay, we need to... Uh, Get away from them so we can break down the army. Because while they're close, there's nothing we can... Uh oh Please, yes, please go away. There we go. Break them down. Good, 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 good. Right, okay. So, uh, where are any troops that pose any threat whatsoever? That's all basically nothing. I think we need to, yes, form up the troops over here. 
Alright, nice and in the middle of Brittany, because it's going to take them some time to come together. So, uh, here is fine. That's a little bit out of the way, but we just need the supplies. So, uh, okay, it's going to take a few months to gather, but in no time at all we should have uh, enough troops to uh, make this happen. Alright, we have at least got, yeah, we're now up to, we're already up to nine knights actually, because we're just gaining fame so bloody quickly. So that's good, it's going to take more time to draw up. Is that enough troops for now? I mean, that's, yeah, you know what, that's fine. I just kind of need to get moving, to be honest, because I need these guys to be stopped before they mess up my perfect, perfect ticking war score. And come on, reinforcements, but not many. Oh, you're going to take this tiny one because you're going to flipping... I think you're flipping storming the place, aren't you? Right, you're trying to flee. Chase them off, chase them off, chase them off, chase them off, chase them off. Don't let them do it. Please start running. I think they are running. Yes, they're running. Good, 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 good. Get over here. And now they are now trapped moving in this direction. Okay, good. We've still got ticking war score. A thousand right there. Nils, I'm disappointed. I'm going to be honest, you're disappointing me right now. And... Okay, hang on. Holy War for the Oldham of... Who the flip are you? Oh, it's Aquitaine. Yeah, I'm not surprised that eventually they were going to get a little bit on the um, uh, the fighty side. Aquitaine are very powerful these days. They're actually one of the biggest armies of Europe. Not as strong as Poland, though. Poland are kind of terrifying. Okay, so they want this tiny area over here. Nothing too dramatic, really. I just need to uh, to hold it. So, uh, get over here. That's probably going to scare them into... Nope, never mind. They were too slow. And... Uh, okay, hang on. There's... No. No, 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 no. You can't have more than you've already got. Okay, I need to really hold on to everything right now. So, no. I'm really sorry. That belongs to me. Look, I cannot give you land right now. That is not a thing I can afford to do. We're about to take you out. So 12,000 uh, versus 8,000 uh, right there. We're only losing 16 because we do not have uh, the full army out and about. There's another 4%. Now, uh, I have enough troops to go and deal with you. Uh, the problem is uh, that would bring me a long way out of the way. So now there's like 500 guys up here. And there's another 3,000 guys up here. I feel like... We've sort of got this under control. Okay. We just need to really get out of this war. Because uh, for the time being, uh, the economy is in bad shape. Like, we cannot afford our armies. So that's a problem. Okay. Also, check the current situation with, uh, uh, yeah, Scandinavia. I know I could just take the election off. But, like, if Scandinavia and the Scandinavian kingdoms aren't going to have Scandinavian elective, then what's even the point, okay? So, uh... Yeah, Philip Lokison, who is of my house, is currently uh, well ahead of uh, everybody. To be honest, I'm down for that. That's fine. I've got no issue with that whatsoever. You've got some uh, some very impressive stats, my friend. So, uh, yeah, I'm willing to put my vote behind uh, King Philip Lokison to take over everything. That's A-OK. -okay. The problem, however, is yes, right now that would mean we would lose the Kingdom of Sweden. So... Uh, we need to keep this girl alive long enough for somebody to vote for her. Right, Mum, I really need you to keep our granddaughter alive, okay? Keep your grandchildren alive. Stab at anyone who looks at them funny. Also, bit of a shuffle in powerful vassals. Duke Eskild now thinks he's powerful again. He briefly didn't, now he does. But the only decent job would be Marshall, and King Nils is doing better. So, sorry, but no. Still, on the other hand, this guy is... Oh, we could replace him. But I kind of need to keep at least some people sweet for now. So, uh, yeah. Leave it off. Leave it off. Everything's under control. And, yeah, these forces uh, right here are... Wow, you're losing supplies anyway. Flipping love it. Uh, okay. Just send the 12,000 up to deal with these guys up over here. We will come down and deal with Aquitaine if it becomes a problem down the line. Hopefully, it's fine. Okay, step one, deal with these forces over here. Just deal with them. Actually, you seem to be uh, on top of this. They're already fleeing out to sea. So, in which case... Uh, oh, darn it. We ended up... No, no, no. In that case, try and hit these guys if you can. It takes so long to get out to sea. We might be able to just uh, 
get them straight away. Bring in reinforcements if you'd be so kind. And oh, bloody hell, we're, we're coming in from... Oh, they just got out. Oh, you sneaky bastards. Right, get up over here, sort this out. And yeah, unsurprisingly, those guys uh, did indeed uh, show up. But this here, this is why we have spares. But hang on, if I, uh, if I just unleash the rest of the army... That's just going to mean as a result of that, that, uh, oh, it's going to take the bloody ages. Okay, that's fine. That's all under control. Do not worry about it for now. It is not important. Just head north, knock out these bastards, ideally before they can actually do anything. They're still, oh, that's a month away. Oh, they're going to flipping take it, balls. Still, your crusade's going very well. Congrats on that. Yeah, tragically, they are about to take this right now, and there it goes, but we can at least immediately kill them, and hopefully take it back. Yeah, we caught some of them, but seriously, our army is, it is not what it once was, and uh, military upkeep is, uh, ooh, men at arms maintenance down 25%, okay, thank you, that's, that's very useful, my husband doing an excellent job right there. And, okay, we can also keep the economy going by just selling mares. That's, wow, 30. That's, that's not very much. I was really hoping for more than 30. Then again, maybe 300 was a typo. Maybe it was always supposed to be 30. Who knows? Ah, yes, and my dread is actually currently uh, at uh, zero. So, uh, we need to make sure the vassals know I'm serious and... I'm compassionate and just... If I execute somebody, I gain 88 stress. But, but, it is just. He doesn't believe things I believe. That means it's okay to kill him. Right, so... Oh, this is fascinating. Okay, so my dread's stuck at zero. So, right, unlike uh, John the Terrifying, she can't just scare her vassals uh, into compliance. That, that doesn't fly. Okay, bare minimum, we take the Dane Law back over here. All right, and bunch of people paying a bit of tax. Absolutely lovely. And yeah, you guys are just going to get on with this. You might well take this, but we can just go and take it back. And uh, my... Oh, dear. Okay, the Queen of Finland is dead. Lots of people dying all of a sudden. So we have now got King Albrecht. So, uh, all right, my friend, how are you? You're not terrible. You're a decent all-rounder. Unfortunately, yeah, the best bet we have got for Stuart is actually 12, which is, uh, I mean, it's not bad, it'll do. The economy at least does seem to be stabilising a bit. And of course, yes indeed, uh, Boulder Lokison has decided he wants to be on the council too. Fair enough, to be honest. So, uh, alright, Mum, you need to make way for him. So that's all absolutely fine. He's on minus five, and he's a bit concerned about, uh, High taxes. All right. You, my friend. Uh, fair enough. We're going to... Oh, that's a lot of money to give up. But it would make him chill the flip out. Okay. What if I swap that for more... But then again, that, that completely defeats the object, John. Uh, okay. What I'm going to do instead is... Uh, right now, what you're doing is you're generating... Uh, yeah, more tax and less levies. So I could swap that round... Uh, and make you, yes, way more in terms of uh, producing troops. But I feel like actually, uh, let's move you over to balanced instead. So, okay, that's going to make you chill out. You're now positive and hopefully not planning to, like, uh, kill me or anything. What the hell are we going to do with all these people in prison? Now we can't just execute them. Oh, bloody hell, right. The whole point of our religion is I'm allowed to execute them. Also, just maybe double check. Do I have any, like, horrifying secrets? Good, I have no secrets. Good, good, good. Okay, this siege will take no time. Nils is actually good at that sort of nonsense, so that's positive at least. Then we'll have taken back all of this. No one else seems to be here, just a tiny handful of people in this part of the world. Uh, then we can go deal with uh, the Aquitaine situation, though I do not consider that massively urgent. Okay, 69% and rising at this point because... Uh, there is, yeah, Aquitaine down here, but I think them taking it shouldn't affect war score because uh, they're not actually involved in uh, this war. The downside is, uh, yeah, actually, you need to come over here and hit these guys if you can. 
And yep, just, uh, you know, pop in, say hello, happy to murder you actually, good. Good, good, good. That's a tiny, tiny bit of the Pope. There's a bit of maiming. Everybody loves some maiming. Right, allies, you just, like, stay here and sort all of this out if you'd be so kind. They've now been chased off. There is now... Oh, bloody hell. Right, okay. There's there's more arriving. Okay, we'll take care of them first. Okay, we'll go and take care of Aquitaine later. It is not important. Ah, but here's some good news. Uh, some competent commanders are starting to show up. So, uh, 18, brilliant strategist, cautious, currently gout-ridden. Honestly, game, I don't think he's that good. I think we're fine, actually. And various members of my family have been rewarded for getting involved in the Holy War. Uh-oh. Is your Holy War currently, uh, over? Yes! So we have now got beautiful, beautiful... This is Crusader Denmark, which is... Okay, why have you called it Crusader Denmark? Because we don't do Crusades. We do... Okay, sure, whatever. Yes, the problem now is potentially um all the Catholic forces uh, that were taking care of this or being battered by this can now focus exclusively on, uh, on me. So that's not so good. Still, we're just doing what we can to get over here, chase these guys down, murder them, lovely, good... Good, good, good. Up to uh, 72%. Okay, so the Dane law right now seems uh, fairly secure. I think it is time we uh, head down and deal with, yes, first the Pope, then Aquitaine. So uh, get out onto the sea, please. Get out onto the sea. Uh, these troops should be enough, and the economy is at least somewhat stabilized. All right, we are capturing more than enough people to keep up with this. So there's 50... Uh, there's a 30. Uh, yes, these numbers seem way more reasonable. These numbers are definitely closer to uh, true. Must have just been a display bug previously. Though as we've actually captured a giant pile of commanders, I should probably, like, you know, keep an eye out. Because uh, some of these guys uh, could actually be, you know, good commanders as it goes. So, okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Best way to do that. Arrange everybody in the prison by... Yes, here we go. So... Uh, Robert, my friend, you are actually pretty good at raiding, of all bloody things. Yeah, 18 in terms of martial aggressive attacker. I mean, they're fine, but they're not exactly good enough to be promoted into my army. So uh, I'm not going to bother, actually. No, 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 not that direction. No, 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 none of that. Right, so uh, you've now given up trying to actually take that territory. Fine, that means we can go and take care of this instead. Though, oh, hello, angry fist, and uh-oh, uh-oh, okay, uh, always, always going to be a problem, potentially. Who's, who's angry, uh, French Catholic, oh, thank goodness, okay, that's fine, that's a hundred percent fine, okay, that's just some flipping nobodies, presumably down over here, where my army actually is, so, uh, I mean, they can flip and try it, I don't care, oh, never mind, it's from... Sorry, and the Isle of Wight, and... Okay, well, that's interesting. Maybe they're all converted to French by, you know, the occupying Norman forces. I don't know. Well, we will go and take care of that in a minute. I am a bit busy just taking care of, you know, all of this nonsense. How long until this goes away? Uh, about two weeks. Get over here, hit these guys, and... Uh, passionate interests. Right, Lord Mayor Alf, magnificent beard... I'm gonna be honest, he's... he's a bit old for me. No. No, 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 no. Though... Okay. I could potentially... Oh, no, apparently I like him. Oh, hang on, do I... Do I have a secret lover or anything? No, I've got several friends. Alright, I'm friends with a few people, including the Queen of Lapland. But like... Um... I would gain a giant pile of learning lifestyle. Okay, so I get it anyway. Yes, I don't want to sleep with him. I just want to, like, you know, learn stuff. That's that's all absolutely fine. And yeah, okay, we kind of knew you were about to, about to do that. So, all right. So hang on, what are we going to do? No, no, no. Want freedom? You get death instead. So that's that's fine. That's just, you know, another war. Uh, yes, scientific. Cultural fascination. Let's get that moving a bit faster. 
and move over down in this direction. Does anybody know where they are? There's, oh, there's, there's several of them. But they do tend to be trash. We just need to beat the hell out of these armies. Then we'll go and take care of this. Yep, so we're just basically smashing these guys. Then there's allies showing up. Okay, so you guys can just, like, naff off, to be honest. Back to Aquitaine you go. My glory is now widely known, which is great. Uh, okay, I kind of need to take this. So that there isn't ticking war score. Then again. Okay. Uh, devotion for my faith as well. Uh, yeah, I need to take this. But then again, these guys are about to start causing a lot of trouble. How long is it going to take them to siege down this? Three years. Okay, so I've got a bit of time. Uh, as it turns out, actually. Uh, you guys are just chilling out over here. Yeah, I think we've got, we've got time. Because it turns out these guys are awful at sieging. Because they've got no siege equipment or anything. And I'm pretty sure they have to be nothing but trash, right? Yes, they're nothing but trash. So, uh, in all fairness, they'll just start dying to hunger anyway. Alright, so just, just get over here. Sort this out. Everything's under control. If my allies would like to help me, that'd be great. Uh, King William of Glacier's just been taken prisoner. My counsellor, Frederick's dead. Okay, that's kind of... That's fine, actually. I think you were... Uh, you were vast to got land, right? And, uh, okay, if you decide you're powerful one day, uh, you, my friend, uh, could be a very good spy master. Alright, who actually wants to be, uh, important these days? Well, unfortunately, you're both trash. So, uh, uh sorry about that. It just gets to be her again. She'll actually be good at, yes, dealing with domestic affairs. Because I need everyone to, like, chill the flip out for a bit. Because I'm a little, little bit concerned about this whole, let's get the king of Estonia onto the throne situation. Um, okay, we might just want to, uh, yeah, lock you down into an alliance. So uh, there's not, you know, trouble or anything. How about, oh, you're flipping already engaged. Well, that's not convenient. Right, arrange marriage. Uh, who can I, like, sort out? Oh, I've got nobody. Okay, apparently my nephew is uh, not close enough to actually get this sorted out. So... Uh, Okay, I'm a little, little concerned about that situation. Okay, what about you? What if I was to get, say, uh, one of your... Who do you have, by the way? Uh, you've got two daughters, one son. He's betrothed as well. Right, so... Uh, okay, irritating. Well, we've got ourselves trebuchets, so uh, we can just take that. Essex is under siege. Yes, I'm not too surprised, really. Uh, I mean, we could just send... We must have a lot of other troops, right? Like, huge piles of other troops. We just haven't actually got... Oh, hang on. Maybe not. Uh, yes, the army is... Uh, it's not as big as it once was. Don't know why you guys are over here. Oh, flipping heck. Now I'm actually... Uh, I'm suffering from ridiculous levels of uh, attrition, actually. Okay, this is... This is not good. The army is uh, suffering, like, a lot. We need to break this army down. We need this siege to end, like, now. Actually, oh, bloody hell. Um, just 12. Yeah, make it happen because the attrition actually hurts more than storming the place does. I just need ticking war score to go away. Break down the army. Okay, so that's fine. We've now taken that. That's now at plus 22. Uh, next priority, giant piles of rebellions. So that's, okay, everything's, it's all fine. Everything's under control. And sadly, she will not accept any form of white peace. Though, uh, it would be lovely if she did. Oh dear, yes. We're now at um, uh, 12,000 men out of uh, 17,000. The army is uh, looking dicier than it once was, to be honest. Okay, just raise all armies. That's fine, because I'm in friendly territory. It will keep recovering. So, uh, maybe just take, you know... A month or two to let it chill out, relax, pull itself back together. Not a problem. Everything's under control. There are some more Crusader states coming in here. But to be honest, they kind of feel like they're very much running out of steam. Now, uh, 24. 24 is the best I've got. That's really not much, you know. Check the state of the court here. Maybe we might have some uh, decent guests. That's only 18. That's only 16. Yeah, we need some, you know, military geniuses coming in, like, soon. If my own daughter would like to be a military genius, that would be really good. 
But no, she's more the thinky type, apparently, though. Oh, that's... that's interesting. So, base of four versus base of two. So, all right. Learning focus it is, I suppose. You seem to be very much skewing that way. Let's just actually make sure... Actually, you're already... No, you're already there. So, that's all absolutely fine. Right, get you a guardian, which, to be honest, can be me. That's fine. Because I will educate you. That's fine. I've got, you know, good stats in that regard. How are you doing, by the way? 11,000. And yeah, we need uh, we need time to let the levies come back. Just maybe one more month before we start moving. Just to get... There we go. Those guys are now back to where they should be. Begin attacking the rebel trash. Okay, we're going to take the rebel trash. Oh, they've taken a lot of land over here. That is irritating. And I'm guessing Aquitaine is. Obviously, Aquitaine's back. Great. Uh, it's going to take them like a year to take that again. This is all absolutely fine. And guys, why are you not? Guys. Oh, yes. Stop, stop gathering. That's, that's fine. That's, that's a decent. You may now start moving. You ready to start? There you go. Right, okay. We've lost various sieges. I'm educating a child. We're going to knock down the flipping rebels momentarily. Start murdering them. There's... Did the Pope just take out some of my rebels? I think they flipping did, you know. Right, well, that's bloody convenient of you. Right, so keep on keeping on. Just knock down all of this. This is basically, yeah, it's target practice. This here, trash. Absolute flipping trash. Get over here, sort this out. Then we're going to go and knock down all of this. They've managed to pull together about maybe 10,000 troops, which is, uh, to be honest, a little bit on the worrying side under the circumstances, because... Uh, yeah, the Grand Army of Emperor John is not so grand anymore. Still, we do have allies. Don't forget, this is a great holy war. I'm not in it by myself. And we're taking these guys out. And, oh dear, you might be Empress, you're also a loathsome witch. That's... Right, well that's... That was a bit harsh. Oh, that's my flipping husband who just said that. Well, excuse... No, 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 no. You can go. You do not speak to me like that so long. Right, I hope you enjoy your flipping. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, what we're just going to be doing is we're just going to be putting you in some... There you go, enjoy your flipping rags. Here we go, a nice intelligent Danish man. He will be a good sensible husband for me. Especially as, yes, I myself am smart. He is really smart, so uh, good. We can discuss literature, it's going to be lovely. I'm going to lose some uh, prestige. Kind of don't care. And do be careful, by the way. Nils the Foolish apparently wishes to be independent, which is not cool, Nils the Foolish. Right, we need to start uh, swaying him, like, right now. I'm pretty good at diplomacy, so let's just get that underway immediately, though, to be honest. We could just... How much to bribe him? 150. Done. Let's just see if we can... Uh, Get him to chill out for a second. Alright, supplies are good. I'd say the best thing we can do is... Oh, that's... That's a lot of troops. That's actually quite a few troops, and some of them are hardcore lads. Okay, bring up the rest. Bring up the rest too. I want some reinforcements. Bring up everything you have left. I'm just going to start counter-sieging. We'll see how they respond to that. And there we go, Emperor Bo is now in play, which is marvellous. You just head in that direction. With, yeah, 20,000 troops, we should be okay. But I would rather just, yeah, not rush this too much. And then we have got... Okay, so as it turns out, um, our reserves were 71 men. So basically, we, we basically just don't have reserves, actually. That's just not a thing... That, that we possess. Still, they seem to just sort of be chilling out and not really doing anything. So as they're not actually making any progress, and some of them seem to be, yes, they're sort of uh, splitting up. They're sort of splitting up, and some of them are maybe thinking about making a move. Uh, but if they would like to do that, I'm happy to... Ooh. Am I happy to do this, by the way? Uh... Can we actually make this? I'd like to win before this begins. Yes, I'd like to win before this begins. And now, now actually, we have got the superior position. Are you actually fording officially? 
I'm not sure if you're officially folding. By the way, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you were to uh, come in and help, by the way. Is this the best commander we've got? It is. Seriously, we need uh, we need better commanders. We just need a better bunch of commanders here. 50%. The Pope is now uh, rushing in. Okay, the friends are arriving. Come on, guys. Oh, 20,000. This is... Uh, We've got the advantage, but they might just have slightly too much in the way of numbers. This wouldn't have happened in the age of Loki, damn it. Okay. This is... Uh, oh, yeah. They've they've got us. There's just too many uh, at the moment. But that's fine. I can recover. They can't. And we did take a territory back. So uh, move our troops back in this direction. We will recover. We will come back. We will deal with them another time and uh, the good king okay so this is yes who's actually who's actually speaking is it nils himself yeah i just need to keep nils on uh, on side by the way yeah we just need to we need to get nils uh, chilling out and not causing trouble okay as soon as we're done retreating we can start yes refilling our army all right just get the army refilled right there and move to uh yeah move over to here because there's 10 million supply so that's the right place to be okay we lost one fight but we are recovering they are not just wait chill out let the army come back together especially as yeah there's like a thousand up here that appear to be pretty bloody isolated. The issue we've got is it takes time for the levies to come back. They used to reinforce faster under Emperor John, but not so much anymore. So that's a bit of a problem. And oh dear, who just died? Okay, whoever that was, I think that was, yes, uh, the ally, not me. So the Pope is, the Pope is starting to make progress. And who the flip are you? Okay, there's just some business over here. I think they're just taking over Cornwall, which, you know, good, cool, amazing country. In fact, you know what? I think I know what we need to do. Now that some people are dead, we're not in such... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I know what we need to do. So, 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 so. We're just going to be um buying a bit of support here, actually. An extra... Oh, yeah. An extra 2,500 people. That'll do the job right there. So, uh, which of these is best? That's not bad, Estonian band. Bring in the Estonians for 500 gold. And for, yeah, just another 300. Bring me a giant pile of Huskals. And they come with commanders too. So that's all pretty good. Right, uh, merge all of them together. That gives me the right to use these commanders. But to be honest, they're not, they're not great. So, I mean, logistics is not bad for certain situations. But... That is now much stronger than it once was. My men-at-arms are now back up to uh, where they should be. I think we should just start moving in and uh, another learning lifestyle. I mean, we've got scientific down at this point and uh, wards can be good, uh, court physicians. Do we have one of those right now? I often forget to actually, you know, set those. Right, well, let's just uh, get one of those in play right now. Just check those. No, I do. I do sometimes forget about that. That's fine. Who's like the cleverest person after me? Ooh, right. Okay. Estonia. Very clever. Though, of course, not in your court, John, because he's the king of Estonia. Now, we do have some very clever prisoners, but to be honest, probably not a good idea to have someone you captured treating you. Okay, we'll just send out a messenger. We'll just go and find somebody. It'll be fine. Then again, hang on. Money's getting a, a bit on the bit on the tight side. Okay, we'll just settle for anyone who's like, you know, vaguely clever for now. My half-sister Linda. You will do beautifully. Right, deploy the army in this direction. Now we've got... Oh, bloody hell, that's... No, we can't ford. Do not ford into them. Instead, find a good position. Yeah, chase these guys north. Head north and... Oh, okay, so that's, that's the 4,000. Okay, so we're going to take out a small group of them. Bit to time, bit to time. Good advantage, good advantage, good advantage. You want people to be piling in to an already lost battle. Good. Okay, now this, this is going much better. And, uh, okay. Anna is apparently scribbling and then tries to hide. No, trust her. Okay, 100% trust her. She's fine. 
Because uh, she likes me. She is my mother. That's not an issue. All right, we have got her. Okay, second time's a charm. Bit of an issue there, but at the bare minimum, uh, gesture of appreciation. Uh, yep, figured as much. Giant pile of money! Good, that's that's pretty much what we needed. Right, get over to Ipswich. Take it back. Okay, and what the flip is going on right now? Okay, hang on. Is Wessex just... No, Wessex is not independent. Good, 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 good. Everything's fine. Now, send the troops over here. That's going to fall soon. Then we take this back. What's going on down over... Oh, bloody hell. Bloody Aquitaine. Okay, I cannot deal with that right now. The Pope came back because he wasn't distracted by this nonsense anymore. Just prioritise taking out this nonsense first. Then we will go over here and deal with the rebels. Then we will come down here and deal with Aquitaine. And bloody hell, maybe we just give up to Aquitaine. I don't know. It feels like reinforcements are coming in right now, actually. Uh, where are they going to try and land? Because, uh, okay, they're all going to try and land in the same spot. Because if they are, I think we just go and uh, intercept them. Yeah, abandon the siege. Abandon the siege. Wait for them to be locked into this. Yep, they're locked in. Go, 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 go. Just as fast as you can. Head in that direction. And now we just need to capture them like now before there is trouble. And a battle is about to begin. Then they'll come in to reinforce. And yeah, everyone should be planning to pile in. No, actually, they decided against it. Right, give chase, give chase, give chase. Get after them. I want them while they are disorganized. And, uh, okay, good. We caught a good, solid 8,000 of them. Uh, we can give them another right kicking here. The rebels are problematic. And, uh, okay, kettle is... All right, you know what? You just need to go, actually. You just need to be got rid of. So, how do we... How do we get rid of you? Dismiss. So, okay. That'll be leaving a close family member. Oh, yeah, because he's the father of my children. Okay. He'll be gone by tomorrow. So, I could get rid of him, apparently. So, in which case, I gain stress. Because, yes, that is not just. Yeah, you know what? He's gone. This guy's bothering me. It's going to give me a bit of stress, but I don't care. You can just go. So there we go. Got ourselves a big victory right there. Absolutely lovely. Now back over to Norfolk. Sort that out. The mercenaries have been very helpful. These guys are just causing all sorts of trouble for me. As soon as we take this back, then we should be in pretty good shape, hopefully. It's still four months till they take this, though. Because, yes, rebels are very, very slow. Okay, that's... That's that taken care of. Uh, how are you guys doing? Okay, we need to take care of the rebel situation now. No, my mum! Oh, that's... I'm really stressed, actually. That was 50 stress right there. That's... that's not good. Uh, how's the... how's the money situation? Gonna be much better once we start selling some flipping counts and mares. And then we need to go and deal with this nonsense down over here. And counter-siege all of this. Because as soon as we've actually taken out, uh all of these bastards, uh, then yes, actually. Oh, blimey. Someone's actually fighting you guys for some reason. Well, it slows you down a bit, so that's fine. Uh, more's coming up north. Actually, who the flip are you guys? Who the flip are you guys and occupied by... Oh, the rebels actually took some of this up here, did they? Oh, this is a bigger, wider problem than I thought, actually. Okay, take care of you soon. Okay, you guys are ready to surrender. Great, get in flipping prison. But, like, I'm allowed to execute him, right? Because, okay, he literally rebelled. It is not unjust to execute somebody who flipping rebelled. That's legit. It's the 13th century. And as much as I would flipping love to go down and deal with this problem over here... Yes, I kind of do not want the Pope to regroup. So we're heading north to deal with him. Then we will sail south to Aquitaine. Seriously, this is... The beginnings of a reign are always difficult, damn it. And uh, what's going on with uh, this over here? Okay, you still want to have the Scandinavian throne. But for the time being, no one seems uh, too interested in backing you. All right, Pope's forces have been caught out of position. Bit of murdering. But yeah, to be honest, it's 
There's a lot of wounding these days and not so much head ripping. It's kind of sad. And uh, Spymaster has discovered a secret. Okay. Something about a child's heritage. I don't think that's too important. Okay. So uh, we now hold uh, all of uh, this situation that we need to hold, right? No one actually around here is, uh, is doing anything particularly dramatic. So... Uh, Okay, time to go down, sort out the Aquitaine situation. That's the key, and we're going to sail, yeah, straight down over here, and we're just going to come in over there, because that there, that's the crucial bit. That's the actual war target, and who are you and what do you want? Well, whoever they are, they're not here for, they're not here for the crusade, because, okay, hang on, war against the tyranny of this king, and... Uh... Oh, sorry, this is some form of, yes, Danelaw campaign against... Oh, are you planning to take back flipping Zealand? Because if so, that'll be really helpful. Okay, now what's going on over here? 6,000 odd troops just doing the rounds. There's a bit of a rebellion or something going on with Estonia. No, that's just the colour of Estonia. It just looks weird next to the Danelaw. Right, so 6,000 troops are heading north, but I kind of need to slow down this Aquitaine situation. That kind of became the, the top priority and issues of uh, fertility. Okay, right. Um, what's going on here? So 93% successful fertility treatment. Fertility up. And possibly that could be botched for fertility down. And amazing fertility treatment. No, or advice. Blimey. Uh, yeah, simple stuff. And good. Successful. So we're a bit more fertile. Just for the moment. Might be able to get out a couple more children. You guys are helping with this. Thank you very, very much, allies. And oh, bloody hell. Right, okay. Um, Right. Kingdom of the Danelaw. A holy war. You're... Aren't you already... There's literally a great holy war. You could join it right now. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, this is... I'm sure that all makes perfect sense. Uh, so we need to... Uh, wait, when you say you've got 40,000 troops, who's actually... Are you sure you do? Because I don't think you do at all. Alright, we have cleared the war target. Now we're going to attack these guys. Then we flee. Actually, you know what? No, we don't. We break down the forces. Because... Uh, and there's a bit of a misunderstanding, apparently. Sorry, there's there's been a bit of a there's been a bit of a mistake. And oh, he he thought I was trying to seduce him. Right, dear oh dear. Uh, okay, this is this is fine. Does anyone know where the uh, the Holy Roman Emperor is? Because apparently he's he's on his way. And is that is that him? No, that's just a vaguely Holy Roman Empire looking army. Okay, raise up some new troops up here, and uh, there'll be more mercenaries. And to be honest, we've got. I think we can just basically afford all the mercenaries in the world off the back of, uh, yeah, just selling people from the, uh, from the Holy War. So that's, you know, not a bad thing at all, really. Ah, the problem is he's got allies, like so many allies, and they're probably going to come and join in. Though some of them, I feel like, probably already were joining in, right? Like, they would logically have already been involved in the war but okay just raise up some more troops all right seven thousand troops because the mercs are there straight away and everything seems to be under control right there just basically okay gather everything at this point we've got the money people are handing over giant pile of stuff you've actually got yourself claims on zealand i'm gonna be honest we're, we're busy we cannot be thinking about zealand right now because i think we might just need to surrender Aquitaine, which is very frustrating, but we are just in a very bad situation in general. The memories remain, and uh, who was Lilo? Okay, I had a friend, and I'm stressed because she's dead. Not that stressed, though. She couldn't have been that important. Are you guys fleeing the country, by the way? Because if you are, I'd kind of uh, I'd appreciate it. So, uh, yep, yeah, they're going. Okay, now where is uh, the Holy Roman Emperor? Because I've still got... Well, there's some bloody papal forces on the far cocky side of everything. Okay. Until there's actual problems uh, over here. Yeah, just get out onto the sea. And then it's got to be faster too. How long is it going to take me to get down there? Like, several months. But it's going to take them several months to actually uh, take this. So, okay. Just go by flipping sea. That's the Pope. We don't know where the bloody hell the actual uh, Emperor is. Uh, 
right now. But Ticking War score is in my favour. Obviously, they want this. It's straight back under siege again. I would really appreciate it if my allies would go and, like, do something about this. But they just keep refusing to. Ah, there they go. There we go. I see them. I see them. The problem is that's... That's so many cocky troops. Okay, we need to win the Holy War first. I don't know if we can actually beat the Holy Roman Emperor with everything. I mean, maybe if we, like, bought every mercenary in the world and took him on directly right now. But we can't get there. Yeah, we definitely can't get there in time to actually stop him. And there's another 5,000. No, those are the those are the uh, the Crusader armies. Just in theory, how many mercenaries can I hire right now? How many are available? And uh, no, not even close. Maybe I could add in an extra couple of thousand. Uh, it really depends on the quality of this army. And it's a whole bunch of uh, little armies. So uh, I think we just have to leave them be. We just have to leave them be. We have to take out the Pope first. All right. And... I don't know what we do with these guys. I just do not know. Okay, we've managed to get down to Cornwall, but unfortunately the Pope is long gone because he swung... Yeah, he swung up north. Oh, you've got a rebellion! Yes, you stupid bastard. Good, 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 good. That'll keep you busy. Okay, so many battles later... The Pope's many tiny mercenary forces have mostly been beaten back. Uh, yeah, Aquitaine's still trying to take this, but without siege equipment, it's taking them 10 million years. And the Holy Roman Empire is continuing to focus on me, even as its empire basically appears to be in full-fledged revolt. So, okay. What I can't help but notice is uh, there's a lot of trash here, because they've got a lot of little mini-armies, so... Uh, I might be able to pick off these guys for basically no casualties. It's just, you know, nothing but levies. Because uh, I don't know whether their men at arms might be back at home or not, but they're not here. I'm just going to loop around to Norfolk, see if I can pull them into uh, a fight. Because, yeah, if they want to come to me, or if I can take out maybe a handful of them and... Uh, songbird. Okay, so I've just been gifted a mechanical bird. Well, that's nice. I've got a tiny robot. So sell it for sell it for money or, ooh, take it apart. I'm going to be honest. Sure, why not? So uh, he likes that because he is also learned, uh, but he hates that. He just gave me that. Yes, we're going to study the robot. Boom. And come on, just keep going in the right direction here. Where's, where's most of his army? Okay, plenty of it seems to be over in... Uh, that direction. We just need to take out, uh, yeah, some of it. Oh, bloody hell. They're all, they're all hanging out close together, irritatingly. I don't want to take it on all at once. I'd like to, uh, yeah, swing down over here. See if we can knock out. It's two people. I don't know why we're worried about that. Yeah, a bunch of it's over here. Let's just knock out a thousand of them right now. So uh, that's nice and easy. And they're not rushing in to, uh, to reinforce. Because, yeah, these here, these are just levies. This is not a problem. And this is now Ipswich. So we can start unseaging some of what they've sieged. So uh, I think we've got Ticking War score. Oh, bloody hell. I hate you bastards so much. Okay, we've got Ticking War score for the next year. So that's, that's all absolutely fine. And we've also got reinforcements. How many is actually here? Only like 10,000. To be honest, I'd rather just, yeah, take this out. That's going to be done in like a month or so. We do have friends who I think are here for the Holy War, but they're going to help out with the Holy Roman Empire anyway, because I can understand how they get confused, to be honest. So that's all absolutely fine. And we have got more guests with more claims. How are my supplies? Good enough for the minute. All right, looks to me like some of these guys are starting to be on the move. Uh, let's just get over here because, yeah, I think we might be able to... Bloody hell. Actually, you know what? No, this is good. This is fine. You're going for the uh, the Kingdom of Germany. I mean, go for it. But if you just like to, I don't know, uh, keep these guys busy for a second and... Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's low quality. It's a lot of troops, but... We've just got them. It's... 
to the wire, but we can just handle it. Because, yeah, I think some of their men-at-arms must be trying to deal with uh, these revolts back home. So, uh, okay, that's bloody hell. Right, that's up to 13. <laughs> We're winning all of our wars. Just. If everyone could just leave me alone for five cocking minutes, I would appreciate it. And... What do you mean we're losing? How are we losing? We we beat this army like two minutes ago. Could could the allies come in and assist, please? No, the allies are the allies this time aren't going to bother. Okay, somehow, a fight we easily won last time, we're now struggling way more with. So please just just get out of my country. Get out of my damn country! Okay, hopefully he won't be back, because yes, the Holy Roman Empire's got its own bloody problems. Okay, we've taken that. We now need to, yes, get up north and uh, deal with the Pope and his constant, never-ending mercenaries uh, again. Although, oh, bloody hell. Right, we'll take you out on the way past. Please, just, just go. Naff off. All right, you do not have the manpower for this. And I need to, I need to change my flipping focus. Uh, open-minded, different culture. Yeah, there are a few different cultures uh, floating about at this point. I think it might be time for, yes, a bit more, a uh, bit more martial. Let's get some flipping uh, war expertise going on. Right, just getting over here and supplies are, supplies are dangerously low. And we have got ourselves a, a son. Now, I'm not naming him after you. All right, we're going for something, uh, something good. Odd! Yes, he shall be odd. My precious baby son, Odd. Right, we need to kill these guys. Right the flip now. Then we need to break down the army, because get in there, marvellous. Now just... Seriously, why are we struggling against these guys? They're trash! The Pope's managed to pull together yet another bloody massive army. That is moderately concerning, actually. And, uh... Okay, you ought to pay more. Yes, you should be paying more tax. Though, I feel like actually this is... Okay, this is a bit of a concern. Is he rushing me right now? Is he rushing me with... He's rushing me. Okay, this is... Uh, right, higher mercenaries. Higher flipping mercenaries. Uh, just just buy, buy something. That'll do. Extra 1,600 troops. Get them on board. Uh, right there. That's marvellous. Merge them together. We've got allies coming in. We've got reinforcements arriving. We've got... Yep, you know what? You want to do this? I think we are absolutely fine. Just getting over here. Annihilate them. And Anna. Right now she is fickle. I could teach her to be wrathful or forgiving. What is forgiving? That is... Uh, okay, not great. In fact, you know, it's actually sinful. Fickle's not terrible, and to be honest, apparently I gain stress from doing, like, everything. So, uh, this is all absolutely uh, fine. We have got, yes, enough manpower to beat the hell out of the Pope. Again, I think the mercenaries were probably the ones that actually uh, were able to carry that right there, and my allies too. Uh, okay, 75%, head north, take this back, again. Oh, I think Nils might be dead, actually. Um, hang on, did, did Nils die? I think Nils might have died. Oh, Nils! The king of... You're the king of, like, um, Danelaw, right? Okay, Nils II is now the king of the Danelaw, actually, as it turns out. So, okay, that's that's another commander dead who's... You know what? Fair enough. Let's bring along this guy. So, yeah, we now got a lovely commander right here. Though now we've lost our siege specialist. Okay, more and more people dying at this point, but we do have, yes, the new king of Finland is uh, pretty competent. He can do that job. That's fine. That's going to save me uh, a little bit of money uh, going forward. And, uh, okay, you're doing a good job. And, oh, hang on. No, you're the not lesbian Viking Pope. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm already kind of, you know, doing a lot of good work on that exact front repeatedly. And I think we're just going to have to give up to, okay, we're going to surrender to these guys. Uh, that's unfortunate, but I can't deal with this many cocking wars right now. It's too many wars, okay? We need to stay focused on this nonsense. 
Oh good, and just when things couldn't get any worse, it's the cocking bubonic plague. So uh, one of our guests has the plague. Mongol empires are pretty on the uh, the big side, by the way. But fortunately, yes, not expanding in my direction still. Oh, never mind. Okay, so that definitely wasn't the Black Death, because apparently it's already over. Okay, we're finally almost done with the cocking bloody Pope. But I'm kind of bankrupt, actually. Will you accept? Okay. The Holy Roman Empire will accept a white piece. That's... Okay, let's just... Let's just get rid of them, please. Let's just get rid of them. I just need to win one more victory against the Pope. I'm selling everyone in the prison as fast as I can in a desperate attempt to make money. There's, there's a lot of people in there, but not, not quite enough as it turns out. My culture is fascinated by men-at-arms, which probably means they're about to be a tiny bit cheaper, which is good, because I think we might actually finally flipping have them. Just come on. One more victory hit. Still 97. How? How is it still 97? Get over here. Sort this the flip out. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of everything. I'm out of supplies. Again. And my daughter Anna has come of age, and she is incredibly similar to me. Actually, she's got compassionate and ambitious and, yep, good traits. I mean, all right, she's not bad. That's some good numbers. The English Catholics have also just, uh, also just risen up. So we've now got, uh, yeah, we've now just got a giant pile of, uh, rebel armies uh, that need to be taken care of. Bloody hell, this is, I am out of cocky money. Completely out of money. And this war score refuses to tick up. Occupied from... Cumberland Partial. Cumberland. Which bit of Cumberland? Hang on. Is it literally this? This is literally all that's stopping me from winning. This tiny bit of land. How long has that been the case? Has that been the case for months? Because I suspect it's been the case for cocking months. Okay, just, just get over here before they can take anything else. And oh, bloody hell. Okay, I'm going to be needing some bloody cash. Okay, this is... This is great. Um, I'm still out of money, by the way. So uh, we're going to be needing to just split out some uh, split out some forces. I can't. Okay, we're in the middle of moving right now. This is all absolutely fine. We also just need to. Okay, we need to get back to profitability because right now we are we're we're in bad shape. Actually, can we just can we just stop for one second, please? Right, send a giant pile of levies north. We can't break them down right now. They're too close by to the enemy. While my men-at-arms just mop up the cocking rebels. But as soon as we... There we go. Okay, we're back into... We're back into profit. Now you just come down here. Sort out the rebels. We've still got a war on right now. And apparently you've got a war on... Uh, a war on too. I mean, good luck with that. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm all warred out for the time being, okay? I'm just... I'm done. For now. Okay, that's that's enough cocky war. That's it. There's there's no more war. Just break down break down all the troops. We are now uh, with 300 gold in debt. Uh the empire is uh, a mess and uh, we are okay, we haven't really we haven't really gained anything aside from the fact that I'm I'm already the living legend and a religious icon <laughs> at the age of 45 of one war. So uh, Okay, this is, this is fine. Everything's, everything's under control. But I think we've, um, we've learned a valuable lesson here today, which is, uh, there's only one way we're ever going to be safe. The papacy is going to need uh, to be dismantled because uh, the AI just loves flipping, loves its great holy war. So, uh, until Catholics can't do that anymore, and wait, can they, if I take away the papacy... Will there just be a different... Okay, we've got to give it a go at the bare minimum. I would say, uh, yes, we need to uh, stabilize, uh, build up a war chest, try and avoid any more pointless bloody wars. Uh, just check out you're getting on, by the way. And Okay, you are losing. I mean, you know, to be expected, to be perfectly honest right there. So, uh, yes, we need to... Uh, no, I'm not going to help. Sorry. Just no. Basically, no. I've just spent a decade straight at war. It was too much cocking war. I need to build up a war chest and we need to come up with uh, an attack plan to take out, yes indeed, Italy. Okay, everyone seems mostly uh, 
chill with me uh, at the moment, which is uh, which is good. Uh, but we're going to need to, uh, yes, make sure everything is uh, as it should be. Bloody, bloody hell, right? Scandinavia is, uh, it's big, but it's definitely not invincible, though. Uh, I'll tell you what, you guys over here. Okay, you guys have been doing some nice work. I mean... Uh, well done, small land, for just taking some stuff off Poland. No idea how you did that. Poland had like 24,000 troops 10 minutes ago, but however you did it, well cocking done. Oh yes, we need to get some revenge on Aquitaine as well. So, okay, lots of money to make, lots of vengeance to be got, and uh, we will see if cunning Queen Ellen can figure out the best way to attack Italy next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Crusader Kings 3. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, this no, this no, guy's no, enjoying no. that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. Oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear. And then oh, come the chariots. Yeah.